Texas Tech football in 2022, in my opinion, was one of the more underrated football teams in the entire season. While their record isn't necessarily the strongest out of some of the teams that are out there, I believe how they played the final half of the year really shows how much this team improved down the line. And knowing that they had a first year head coach in Joey McGuire and how much improvement they made throughout the entire season, this being a foundation year for the Red Raiders is one that could set them up down the line for more success. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Texas Tech football in their 2022 campaign and talk about the foundation that is being installed under year one of the coach Joey McGuire era. This is a team, in my opinion, that showed a lot of potential, especially near the final half of the year, and is one that I feel like some college football fans need to keep their eye on down the road. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. Before I talk about Texas Tech and their 2022 campaign, I want to paint a clearer picture on how Texas Tech has been as a football program as of recent. Historically, they're not known as a big power in college football or a team that necessarily runs any of the conferences that they've been in, the Big 12 or even the Southwest Conference that they used to be in a long time ago. But looking at their recent football history since 2010, they have not had a single 10-win season in that time. Their best record has been 8-5, and they've had a total of seven losing seasons since 2010. If you want to know the last time they had a 10 plus winning season, it was all the way back in 2008 when they went 11 and two. Transitioning talking about Texas Tech football in 2022, they went eight and five, five and four in conference play. They averaged 34 points a game, which was 27th in the nation. They gave up 29 points a game, which was 94th on the Division I FBS level. It's worth noting that this 8-5 season, this is the first time they reached 8 wins since the 2013 season, and knowing that it's year one in the McGuire era, it is very promising that they're already having success on this level compared to some previous coaches that they've had. Now, looking at the schedule that they've had, it wasn't an easy schedule by any stretch of the imagination. I believe the Big 12 was kind of tough this year as a lot of teams were on the same level. And in fact, at one point in the season, Texas Tech was 4-5. and five. In their last three games, they had Kansas, Iowa State, and Oklahoma. And they had to win at least two of those games if they wanted to make a bowl game. And what did they do? They went out and they won out the rest of the regular season, beating Kansas 43-28, Iowa State 14-10, and Oklahoma 51-48. And in their final and most recent game of the season in the Texas Bowl, I know it may not be smart to put all your eggs in one basket for bowl games, but this was a very big game for Texas Tech as they got to play Ole Miss, which was a pretty good SEC team and had a lot of their good players playing in that game. Texas Tech, they showed up and they showed out as they completely dominated the game all four quarters and defeated the Rebels 42-25, to making a statement. Although I will say, on paper, they do not look like they're the most dominant team, and they're not a dominant team, really. As a matter of fact, they are an 8-5 and five team, and they did go 5-4 and four in conference play. But you have to put it in perspective. This is a first-year head coach on the collegiate level in Coach McGuire. And this is a first-year program under him with Texas Tech for this new era of football that he's trying to instill. And Texas Tech, they have not been very good these last few years, especially under Matt Wells. And last season, they had a fight and claw their way to be a bowl team. And they did end up reaching seven wins to be seven and six after beating Mississippi State in their bowl game. But this is a team that people thought maybe would not make a bowl game this year because of just everything that was pointing against them going into the year. But they were a solid team, eight and five. And you could tell this team was different from years past as they had more fight in them. The offense, yes, it stayed good, especially with Kitley at offensive coordinator. But the defense, yes, they gave up 29 points a game, but you know this defense was better than some of the previous years 
as they seemed like they were better at tackling. They played with a more ferocious style, and you know that they're setting a foundation for future Coach McGuire defenses. Another thing to know about Texas Tech and their 2022 year is something off the field, and it deals with recruiting, about Texas Tech's 2023 recruiting class. And I believe this is their highest rated class ever with the recruiting rankings, as they're number 23 in the nation which is very good for them knowing how recently Texas Tech has not been recruiting at a very good level the past few years, but making this the first full year class for Coach McGuire, who has a very good stronghold in the state of Texas being a very historic Texas high school football coach and having a lot of connections. This class is very good for them, especially in year one, in which they have 25 current commits, four of them being four stars and 21 of them being three star recruits. To put it in perspective, in Big 12 ranking terms, Texas Tech has the number four Big 12 recruiting class. Having this kind of recruiting class, year one under your coach, and showing some promises on the field, you have to be happy as a Texas Tech fan. And if you're a college football fan looking from the outside in, you have to acknowledge what Texas Tech is doing. As it's very hard to be a good college football recruiting school right now, especially with NIL and with the program that Texas Tech has been lately, to do this in year one proves that they're heading in the right direction. And who knows, showing this step and this progress this early on in the recruiting stages as a first year head coach on the Power 5 level and on the collegiate level at that, it shows a lot of promise and it shows that your future recruiting classes may be just as good. Looking forward and talking about Texas Tech football for the 2023 season, I feel like you can feel optimistic heading into the year. As usually for most cases, under year two of college football coaches, and this will be year two for Coach Joey McGuire at Texas Tech, usually the teams are more refined, they're more polished, and they usually are a little better or a lot better in year two because every player that played on the team in 2022 will have a full year in the system and even more growth with the offseason. They will be losing some big players in the offseason just because of the portal, the draft, but Texas Tech is expected to bring back a lot of the talent and a lot of the pieces that are very key for this 2022 squad for 2023. And if they can improve off what they finished in 2022, that four-game winning streak, and build it on to the spring, build it on to fall camp, and ultimately build it on to the 2023 college football season, they could be a pretty dang good football team. And there's always that one random team in the Big 12, as it seems like recently over the past few years, that really breaks out and turns into one of the contenders in the conference. And who knows, if they put it all together, maybe... It might be Texas Tech, but only time will tell. Well guys, if you made it this far in today's video, drop something down in the comment section below. What college football teams do you believe people should keep their eye on, not only for 2023, but down the road as well? And if you want to see similar videos, let me know in the comment section and say if you want to see more videos similar like this, where I talk about certain teams as we progress into the 2023 college football offseason. Also, before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly, out.